Okay, so welcome to this week's episode of J Man Can Allotment Diaries. As usual, there's going to be two parts. The first part is going to be a little bit of work at the plot. Um, hopefully, I think today I'm going to be finishing off bed number four here. Once I've done bed number four, I'm going to look at weeding a little bit of that, uh, weeding a little bit of that area. So that'll be the first part of it. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to offer some helpful hints and tips. Again, it's going to be very, very basic hints and tips on growing tomatoes from seeding them to begin with, some of the care you've got to offer them, a little bit of support that you're going to offer them, all the way through to harvest them. But again, today I'm only going to be seeding them and we're going to talk about growing tomatoes. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to walk. So quite a few times what I've had to do, um, because I've not had the, uh, the relevant wood here, I've just put in, uh, I've been putting in temporary pieces of wood, okay, um, until I can get the right pieces of wood just to, just to put in to make it look a little bit more attractive. Anyway, today I've got a couple of pieces of wood and I'm going to hopefully make this, uh, this bed look a little bit nicer. Bloody weeds are the bane of my life. So what I want to do on this bed is I want to start preparing to put my potatoes in which means taking out all the pieces of wood and any of the big chunks that I can of, um, of weeds or anything like that. So all I'm going to do literally is turn it over, take some weeds out, turn it over, take some weeds out, turn it over, take some weeds out, turn it over, take some weeds out. And again, what I do is have a little container on the side, start at one end, go to the other end, any big pieces, turn them over. It's a good idea to do it with a fork as well, that way you're not chopping any more of the weeds up, okay? Um, if you did it with a nat, uh, if you did it with a spade, you're gonna cut the weeds in half, and then all that you're doing is you're multiplying the number of weeds. So what you want to try and do is take off every single part of the weed, whack it in my container there, okay? Otherwise the weed is going to come back. Again, hopefully in the next week, maybe fortnight, I want to get my potatoes in the ground. They're nicely uh, chitting away at the minute at home. Okay, I finished weeding, I'm exhausted, I've just re-weeded, bed number one, the plan is, it's now ready for my root veg, my potatoes are chitting, I'll put my potatoes in, in the next week or fortnight, I've got my swede going, I'm going to start my carrots, so as soon as my swede, my turnips are ready, they'll be going into this bed, and bed number two. So in terms of digging, it's bed one, bed two, bed three, and this is going to be bed number four. However, if you look closely, I think previously, this obviously is going to be bed four. Okay, this has got lots and lots of grass. So what I'm going to have to do is use a technique called um, double digging, I think it's called. Effectively, what that means is making a huge hole in the ground here taking a chop of grass off here, face down and putting it on there so the grass is like that, face down in the corner, carrying along and as I go along, make the hole there, put it on top, put it on top, put it on top, put it on top. So eventually this big hole is filled by grass face down and then other soil on top and you go all along. I'm gonna have to do that with the whole load of grass there. But at the same time, because I'm gonna go runner beans here this year, I actually have some manure there. I'm gonna throw the manure in at the same time as double digging that. Hopefully that will help me get rid of this uh, this path and then I'm gonna to have to take out all the weeds in that area anyway. Just what I'm doing now. I've double dug all of that, put manure in it, right the way along. As you can see, I've dug it all up, all the way. Not gonna to lie to you, I'm bloody exhausted. So that's, that will potentially be 
bed number four. Hiya, um, so like I said, we're going to talk about growing tomatoes, why to grow tomatoes, a little bit about the care, about transporting them and about the harvesting. But first things first, we need to get them seeded first. So what I'd always do and what I always recommend is take a little seeding tray, which I do, um, some multi-purpose compost in there, okay? Get that in again. Um, it's already a little bit moist in there, okay? Roughly fill it in. Give it a little tap. Smoothing it out. There we go. Nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm going to do two varieties, okay, just in case one variety doesn't work. And it's nice to have a couple of different varieties. Uh, the two varieties I'm going to do, one is actually called, I don't know if you can see it there on the camera, it's actually called, there we go, what is it called? Um, you can see it's called Ali Can't Say. And you do it from January through to May you sow it and then you harvest about July to September and like I said it's really really good because it gives you all the information there okay so you sow January onwards okay um, and then it tells you you can harvest at the time it's got a little bit of information about sowing indoors there it talks a little bit about transplanting it's got a little bit about aftercare training and you know it's got a little bit of so all the information that you're going to need is more often than not on the packet so I'm going to be doing that uh, the alley count is solid, so let's open a little packet here. Let's open the packet up here. I will show you what the seeds look like. Because um, again, when I started doing it, I didn't know what any of the seeds looked like. So when I got some seeds, I always thought, oh, that looks a bit different, or that's not what I thought it would look like, or, or whatever. So let's see, we want to be quite generous with these. Ooh, there's quite a few there, isn't it? So let's bring up to the camera, and you can see, sort of, uh, we'll put on that, and you can see kind of what they look like, there we go, so they're just little round things um, you know, tiny tiny things, so all I'm going to do is uh, not even going to make a drill, don't need it no, I'll just put a couple that's that one and let's do the other one again. So these look. I'm going to say identical to the first lot. They're actually a tiny, whiny bit smaller. Bring them to the camera, you can see. There you go. Similar size and shape. So let's get these in as well. But these I'm going to make their own little. Like that. So I know we've got three rows in there. Grab a bit of this, just very, very softly. I'm going to uh, grab the sieve. There we go, got a little sieve here. I want it to be really, really fine. Last year I didn't use a sieve or anything like that. This year I'm going to use a sieve and just see if it helps it um, go. That way we know it's really, really fine, the soil that we've got over the top. Um, and again, it's just something that I picked up. Again, I've never used a sieve before. Um, this year, I'm using a sieve a little bit to make sure what I goes on. It's really, really fine. Sometimes you might get little bits, and I don't know if the ceilings are hard to get over it. But this year, I've just, I've just decided to use a sieve for no reason other than I'm going to give it a go. If it, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And um, that way, I just make sure. Sieve it over there. Tiny wean a little bit, give it a little tiny pat down. All I'll do is I'll then give it a little bit of watering. Actually, I haven't got any water in here, so all I do is give it a good old water. Oh, that comes off, it's not meant to happen. Give it a good old water. Once I've watered it, either stick it on a windowsill or, to be fair, um, it's not too cold. I might leave it here in the greenhouse. Okay, so now that I've actually uh, seeded the tomatoes, I'm going to talk a little bit about why you grow tomatoes. Personally, I think tomatoes are delicious, they're juicy, they're colourful, and if I can grow them, honestly, they've got to be easy to grow. So I think that's one of the main reasons why you should actually grow them. So that's the tomatoes seeded, why you should grow them, a little bit of care. They are quite green.
really plants that do need watering quite often okay especially when they're flowering and you know obviously they're taking all the moisture so you want to water them as often as you can okay um, water them quite a lot but try not to let there be stagnant water on there okay one of the ways that you actually can water them is if by the base of the the stem you dig a small hole and put a plant pot in there so if you've got the stem just going up here you have a, a plant pot just in the base and put all the water into the uh, into the plant pot that way it gets deep into the roots okay and it stops you know the water from evaporating away and you haven't got stagnant water at the top it's seeping down in the roots water it you go away and it looks after yourself okay that's one of the things about watering and care okay so now we're talking about watering now in terms of support for the for the plant now as the tomato plant starts to grow the stems are actually quite thin okay now the stems come up they're quite thin and the tomatoes stem out and they start growing so you've got a stem going along here stem going along there and they get quite weighty and the tomatoes are quite weighty so what you need to do is put some canes in tie them loosely to the cane and keep them going upright now here's the top tips okay before you put the plant into its final recipe put the canes in first that way if you put the canes in first then put the actual plant in the roots can go around the cane however if the first thing that you do do oh we've got a little bit of wind now you might hear a wee bit of wind on the camera if you put the cane in afterwards you might have the root going and the cane then can go into the cane the top tip is put the canes in first so now that you've put the canes in the tomatoes are growing up now unfortunately as the stem main stem goes up and you have some other stems going across okay for the tomatoes they're going to start bunching on there you automatically get some leaves as well just at the angles you want to pinch them leaves out otherwise what will happen is the nutrients will be going to them leaves they're not actually going to produce any crops so you want all the nutrients going to the full stem and you want all the nutrients going to the main leaves and to the veg so just pinch out them okay okay thanks for watching hope you've uh, enjoyed it Hope you've learned something. I hope you've um, thought, oh, an allotment would be fun. It's also a hell of a lot of hard work. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, like, share. The weather's actually not rained at least, so that's really, really good. Okay, so um, I'm gonna get off. I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Have a good week. Thanks a lot, bye-bye.